I made it to Glacier. I drove about eight hours today from Mashoka State Park. Now I'm at the Two Medicine area of Glacier National Park. It's beautiful. The last time I was here was 20 years ago. I was thinking about that as I was driving here. Totally different place in my life. just got into Glacier and look at these huge service berries I found. I only know about them because I'm watching a huge grizzly bear across the lake who is eating service berries. I am going to eat these delicious things. Mmm. So good. Love it here. There is a grizzly bear over here. It's been right around in that area. I've been watching it for about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, there it's moving. Might be hard to see with the iPhone camera, but I have my binoculars. It's huge and it's pretty light colored. But we see my first grizzly bear within five minutes of being in the park. Also found service berries. It's going to be a good visit. Well, there's the bear. You can't really see him very well with this camera, but he's moving around, eating. Yeah. The ranger said right down by the water he killed a moose and he's been hanging out here for several days eating the moose and is very protective of his moose and so they've closed the North Shore Trail there. Um, that's the North Shore Trail around Two Medicine Lake. So I won't be doing any of those hikes tomorrow. I'm sure I'll get more bear footage as the week goes on. The bear came down to the water. Right, right there. It's near where his this moose kill is. He's a huge one. Showing us his butt. Oh. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> the bear shit in the woods. <laughs> I guess he just nope, took a dump. Nope, he used the light. <laughs> I happen to have the video going. Can you imagine that thing just jumping on you? The beauty here is just so stunning, spectacular. I did also hear that tonight is supposed to be a peak night for the Northern Lights, so I'm going to maybe set my alarm for the middle of the night and come out. It would be amazing to see the Northern Lights over this scenery. This is my campsite for tonight. Two Medicine Glacier National Park. Uh, good morning. I had an awesome night's sleep in my campground here at Two Medicine. And today I was able to get on the 10 o'clock.
o'clock boat here, which takes me across the lake. I think this is lower to Medicine Lake. And then I am going to do a hike from the other side of the lake up to upper to Medicine Lake. The hike is 4.2 miles. I imagine it's somewhere up in that area. It's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to be 90 something today. And uh, we got the boat tickets right over here. Glacier, glacier boat. So just be respectful if anyone else wants a chance. And please do not sit on the railings or stairs. Yeah. Uh, but my name is Kyla. I'll be your captain today. So if you have any questions, feel free to shout them out or come ask me. Uh, again, welcome aboard the Cinema, but also welcome to Glacier National Park, everybody. Shortly followed in 1917 with the main objective of preserving our land for future generations to enjoy. I'm very happy that this area is preserved because it's truly sunny and beautiful. I hope everyone gets to enjoy it. One of the ways to enjoy is from our historic vessels here. As I mentioned, our boat is 96 years old, so she's carried a lot of people across the site all over this. Well, I'm off the boat, hiking. I decided to go to Twin Falls and then backtrack and then go up to Upper to Medicine Lake. And we got my bear spray and you can probably see my bear belt. That moose coming over was so cool. And the grizzly bear is uh, right around the edge of the lake. so. There are bear around. I guess this part of, of Two Medicine is where the most grizzly bear are. But it's a beautiful day. It's shaded in here, which is awesome. It's going to be a fun hike. And hopefully I catch the boat back at 1, one o'clock or 3 o'clock. Well, I found my first huckleberry. There's some here. Mm. 
Very good. They're lining their trail. The bears haven't gotten them yet. A bunch of them. Probably gonna be another slow hike. There's a baby moose. There's a Stop! moose. Out. There's a moose right in front of you. And there's baby moose, so just stay. Don't move. It's a mother moose. You don't need the bear spray. Hey. It'll be fine. We gotta make the boat. There's the mother moose. And the babies are across the trail. Good luck. Maybe I'll take video. <laughs> Have a fun day. Man, I have only been here such a short time and already I've got to watch a grizzly bear play in the water. I got to watch a moose swim across the lake and then just hiking on the trail for five minutes I encounter two baby moose and then the mother moose like five feet off the trail. This is an insane area for wildlife. Lots of these little bridge crossings and lots of thimbleberries. These were really prevalent at Isle Royale. Mmm, so good. I love them. Mm. I'm gonna get every last grid. Mmm, hope I find a bunch of them. Well, this is Twin Falls, for obvious reasons. Very pretty. to go down and see how cold that water is. I guess there's no active glaciers on this part of the park, so maybe it wouldn't be quite as cold. So I just passed two hikers that said in a pond up here there's a, a bull moose uh, hanging out. So look forward to seeing that. Well these are really the views you get all along the trail. Huge mountains and the trail surrounded by 
huckleberries and thimbleberries and it's kind of visually overstimulating. You're like, oh, look at this amazing scenery and you're looking for bear and moose and I'm looking for berries and also looking for rocks so I don't trip over them. So your eyes are darting here and there. And uh, sometimes it's good to just stand and look around. I found more service berries. There's tons of them. Some over here. I think I may sit here and eat them all. They're so delicious. Well, and sometimes the view just opens up like this. This trail is quite flat. I think there's only 200 feet of elevation gain. So, and it's 4.2 miles, 4.5 miles if you go to Twin Falls round trip. So it's just kind of a nice leisurely day hike if that's what you're looking for. I'm doing the High Line tomorrow, so I wanted to do something easy today and also drive by going to the Sun Road. And all these service berries, look at them all. Oh, look at that little peak on this mountain. That's neat. This looks like a something someone made. It almost doesn't seem real. So you really have to get a 360. So this whole trail here is just in this open, um, pretty much all berry area. It's all service berries, thimble berries, and so obviously the bear would like to hang out here because they like to sit and eat berries. So, so seen so many service berries in my life. There's so many of them. Well, I made it to Upper to Medicine Lake. It's beautiful. The water here really isn't as blue as some of the glacial lakes in the park because there's no active glaciers here, so you don't get that rock flower dumping into the lake. But nonetheless, very beautiful. Well, 
it took me oh, about an hour and 20 minutes to get to Upper to Medicine Lake, going very slowly, picking berries and doing the little side trail of the two Twin Falls. And I came over at on the 10 o'clock boat and it's around noon. So I'm gonna try to hightail it back to the dock because there is a one o'clock boat. I'll have to limit my berry picking on the way back. If I if anyone ended up missing the boat, I think the last boat is at five. There is a 3.3 mile trail that you can do to get you back to the parking lot. Well, it only took me walking 45 minutes to get back to the boat ramp for the one o'clock boat. So I guess I did 45 minutes of berry picking on the way there. Uh, but very, very nice trail. You get a lot of good view for not that much physical effort. Um, so I recommend it.